Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, like I said yesterday, I am continuing on with my every day I'm going to be unboxing one canvas from Dollarama. I still am in so much shock that they are able to bring you a decent quality diamond painting at such a fraction of the cost. Even budget friendly sites don't have anything on these. They have selection, but they don't. I don't very often see a diamond painting for $4, so very happy about that. So I got my tools of the trade and this is the diamond painting we are going for today. It looks like a it looks like a dream catcher. It's very, very, very pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this really quick. Hope you guys are still enjoying your weather. We had a really kind of cloudy day and then no rain came um, until about 10 o'clock and then it didn't even rain heavy. No storms, it just kind of rained. So this is what I've been using for the thumbnail um, and I'm just gonna bring that up to you guys. Hopefully you can see it. So I do like the packaging that these come in. They're kind of a stiff plastic. Um, I do have the two on here because this was the second one I was going to do. It is found in the craft section. At, it says diamond bead painting kit, so it's not actually a diamond painting kit. Maybe that's their way around getting it for a cheaper price. I don't know. Just going to stick those off to the side. And bring these videos tend to be not very long because they don't need to be very long. So this one has a few more wrinkles in it. Just actually going to move that too. Not bad though, I do have a feeling that they will settle down quite nicely. 25 colors. There is a bit of sparkle in the um, canvas and there have been on all three. Um, I don't know if you guys can pick it up. And if you can't, don't beat yourself up, it's there. <laughs> I promise, would I lie to you? So this one does have a thumbnail at the top. It does say it's a 30 by 40. We are gonna test that. And 25 colors. This one is more muted. I think this one's gonna look really pretty done. Let's just check the stick factor on this. It has really good stick factor, you guys. Like, I've been impressed with that totally. Let's try to top. And then I think I was trying to straighten out with my straightener. But I think I was doing it backwards. It's been a long time since I've straightened out a Yeah, that worked much better. So if you a, a little trick of the trade is if you pull your uh, cellophane back, if there's a bit of a lip in it, it doesn't always take it completely out, but it does help with the um the cellophane on top. I always call it cellophane. I don't know if there's a better word for it, but the cover on top, it just makes it a little bit more flat. And then it takes out that initial um, bump, lump, whatever you want to call it. And then I turn around and do it on this side as well. Before I show you the drill field, I'd like it to be as flat as possible. And I was trying to do it from the bottom and it wasn't working very well. That seems to work a bit better. It takes a few of the wrinkles out and then just kind of makes it so that it wants to lay flat. So 
you guys. I don't think I can quite back on this one. Up. We'll do a quick measurement first before we go into the drills and look at the field. So this says 30 by 40. It is a 25 bang on by thirty-five bang on. So 25 by 35, you lose a couple of inches. Um, I don't know why they do that. I've always wondered, but that is just kind of the way of it with budget-friendly sites. So let's bring this down. So as far as it goes. are getting a good uh, look at the field. The field is perfect. So let's look at the end. Perfect. Very, very clear. I'm not seeing any areas. Maybe in here there's some funny coloring. But that's pro probably part of the feathers of the dream catcher. Um, I don't really see any areas that are going to give me trouble. I hope you guys are seeing this. Sorry, my um, viewfinder is not showing me completely clear. Because I'm wearing, not wearing my glasses. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's better. So you guys are seeing it as well. Pretty clear. When they try to add these extra colors in behind, it's just a color. It's just to help the picture along. It's not made to make your life miserable, even though sometimes it does. I'm gonna go back up here. Um, yeah, so these faded sections sometimes can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But I'm telling you, um, these colors are quite nice. I like the pop of pink at the top. I do like the more neutral tones throughout. And I like her, uh, our dream catchers. I like dream catchers. I think they're so pretty. And the art that goes into making them is just amazing. So 25 colors. Let's take a look at the colors. Oh, and I didn't even tell you it comes with the regular boat, so you guys know, pen, boat, box. Very, very nice, guys. So if you're throwing this in your suitcase, you could throw in some baggies and do a bagged um, kind of system for yourself that you can do all together. So there's a bag of uh, 154, 168, 323. I thought it was over here. Yeah, so it's in the end. 154, 168, 323, uh, 317, 413, 452, 453, 738, 3,024, 3,008, or sorry, 3,689, 3,713, lost of it here, you guys, 3,774, 20, or sorry, 
3860, 3861, 3864, and 3866. So no, no double bags of any of the colors. So it looks like it's going to be a bit... I thought maybe down here this coloring down here, but it actually does kind of... It, there is different colors in here, so I'm not surprised that there were uh, not two bags of colors, but a little bit surprised that there weren't two bags of colors. So that will do you $4 at the Dollarama here in Canada. <clears throat> I would suspect that they have stores in the States where they're selling these same items, um, maybe five below. I'm not sure, maybe the uh, Dollar Tree plus more, I think, where they sell a bit higher end products. Maybe check some of those areas out to see if that you're seeing these. I think these are great traveling pictures. Again, the care factor for if something goes wrong is a little bit less. But then also too, there is some nice pictures. So there you have it. Day two, Dollarama. I'm being quite impressed. This is the type of painting that I am going to shove in a suitcase and you know what? If I lose a drill, so be it. I don't care. If you like these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up as well as doing those other YouTube things like possibly subscribing to the channel. If you like, if you think you might be back, that'd be awesome. And I don't know what else to say. I'm actually still quite happy with the quality that you get for four dollars. Stick around until tomorrow. I will show you yet another painting that they have on offer. So if you like this one, YouTube might have one over here. They might have one over here of a previous Dollarama uh, diamond painting. Go and check them out. You might be surprised. Until then, you guys, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Bye!